Motherfucker, walk up here, dude. I cannot <laughs> wait to destroy his ass, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's make some noise for him, his battler. Make some noise for Aaron Spriggs, everyone. Look at that one. Aaron Spriggs, first time roast battling. How are you feeling about this? I feel good, dude. I feel like a million fucks. I'm ready to get this shit demonetized. <laughs> uh, a million fucks? Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't be so unlikable so quickly, please. <laughs> please. Jesus Christ. First time roast battling, I'm gonna let you call it in the air, right? Call heads or tails? Heads. Heads. We got heads. You wanna go first or defer? Alright. God damn, dude. I always see Alex hit the What are you doing? Stop. What? Do you want to go first or defer? I'm not standing oh, up here for the battle. Alright. Yeah, I'll go first, I guess. God damn. Okay. Aaron Spriggs is going first, everyone. Versus Alex Hayes. Make some noise, everyone. Let's roast. Guys, I always see Alex hit the stage with wrinkly clothes and washed up jokes. God, I wish his mom and him would just use a coat hanger. <laughs> I'm excited to be roasting the inventor of puck porn tonight, so this is fun. <laughs> Aaron's known for telling pun jokes about sticking shit up his ass, but when he's not doing that, he's a waitress at a comedy club, which is about the only thing a club will pay him to do. <laughs> at a comedy club. That's the last place he should be is next to a woman's drink. <laughs> All right. Thank you, dude. Where's my ADHD medication? <laughs> this is a true story. Alex's demented grandma once took a shit on the floor and smushed it around with her walker. Looks like using shit material to get attention runs in the family. <laughs> Shitty grandpa, so does Aaron. Aaron's grandpa shit in front of him and they never talked about it. A lot like what Aaron does on stage every night. <laughs> All right. Thank you, doesn't go to the Jim Morrison. <laughs> Guys, I cannot make this shit up. Alex has crashed his car nine times. The only thing that's hit Alex more times than his deployable airbag is his ex-girlfriend. Maybe if you got a fucking haircut from time to time, you could see this shit coming. That means a lot coming from the guy breastfed on IPAs. That's nice. <laughs> family, but it was a problematic family. He would have been born with a silver spoon in his mouth, but his mom was using it to shoot up. <laughs> Make some fucking noise for these two, everyone! That was fucking killer, guys. Good job. I'm excited. 
excited to see where this goes. Let's turn over to the judge table. Aaron, what you got? Oh, God, you made it difficult at the end. Uh, <laughs> first of all, Aaron, thank you for taking time away from brewing shitty lagers to be here. That's very cool. <laughs> I really don't know either of you guys that well. I feel like I know you better now. I don't know either of you guys that well. I know that I hate your fucking Spotify playlist, though, just by looking at you. If anyone tosses you an aux cord at the party, please hang yourself with it. That's... I don't know if you both like the Grateful Dead or not, but I'd be grateful if you were both dead, for sure. You look like you wear too much cologne. <laughs> and Alex, you look like you haven't bought deodorant in five years. <laughs> also, I'm sorry you keep getting into car accidents, but I do get it. You open your eyes about as wide as any Chinese person I've ever met. So, don't, don't squint and drive, people. It's not good. Uh, uh, the silver spoon joke took it for me at the end. I'm going Alex. <laughs> All right, we got one vote for Alex, everybody. Bobby, who you got on this battle? Um, well, it was tough. I didn't know it, which one to choose as my own uh, character for January 6th. You guys were uh, really tough. It made it tough for me, but uh, I think he came out. The last, yeah, that spoon joke really was insane, but I honestly, I think the whole round was, uh, went to Spriggs for sure. All right. We're tied up one and one. Zach Bokovich, how are you feeling? Uh, it, was, uh, it was really good. Roast by uh, Lumber, Jack, and Jill. I can't tell which one. Lumber skateboards, and the other one shoves lumber up his ass. But that was, it was really good. Uh, man, Alex made it really hard with that silver spoon joke at the end. I, I think I'm gonna give it to Alex to make it interesting. Yeah, that was, that was really good, guys. All right, both of them were really good. It was a tough decision. All right, two one, Alex JB. All right, I'm gonna just start off saying it. Uh, this looks like the all right versus the all right. <laughs> Now you did, Alex, you came back at the end. I thought you came back, but Aaron was knocking you. I was rooting for you because I can't go for the all right, bro. Right? You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I thought it was all right. But, uh, but I will say this. Now, nah, Aaron, you killed. Like, like you came out ducking. Bah, bah, bah. I'd watch you fight and lose any day. You know what I'm saying? But good shit, y'all. Good shit. Who did you vote for? Oh, I It's hard to understand because you sound like you got your voice from Circuit City. <laughs> Bobby, you look like you stole my voice from Circuit City. <laughs> but no, I gave it to Aaron. Aaron got that shit off. He did it out. He got it off. Alex, All right. All right. Guys, we are tied up two and two. That means we're going to turn it over to you guys and you're going to decide who wins. All right. I'm going to say the names. You make a round of applause. You think they won. If you think Alex Hayes won, make some noise for him. If you think Aaron Springs won, make some noise for him. All right. Aaron Springs is the winner of this Rose Battle, everyone. Make some noise. You guys absolutely killed it. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, guys. Can we circle back to the fact that JB tagged his own joke? Wait, that shit's so funny. <laughs> So when I start chanting, battle, 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 battle. Yeah, all right, guys, you guys ready for your main card of the night, everybody? From here on out, we're going to be doing five jokes back and forth. I'm going to bring your first comedian. She is 0-1 in roast battle. Make some noise for Tom. How are you feeling about this? Um, I feel pretty good. Ellie's been nice to me, and I'm tired tonight, so I think I'm gonna be a little mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Bring out that bitch energy. <laughs> All right. You're going against Ellie. 
Kershaw for she's 1-0 in Rust Battle. Make some noise for her, everyone. All right, Ella, you're roasting Taji. You got a better record than her? How are you feeling about this? I feel good. The, uh, the first person I roasted, we haven't talked since, so I'm excited about this. <laughs> Burning bridges through the comedy scene. Let's go. All right, Ellie, you're one and zero, so I'm gonna let you call it in the air. All right? Okay. Tails. We got tails. You gonna go first or defer? I'll go first. All right, Ellie versus Taji. Ellie's going first. Everyone, let's roast. Taji, I know you're tired, but I'm, I'm really glad we're doing this, to be honest. I think it'll really bolster my reputation as a white comic <laughs> to publicly mock uh, black uh, wild thornberries, so I'm really excited <laughs> about that. Uh, go, guys, don't laugh at that. There's nothing funny about Taji. All right, go ahead, Taji. <laughs> gene selection of a middle-aged man. Her and Alex are wearing the same pants. You can go. You can go. All right. uh, Taji, uh, you might not know this, Taji went to school to be a pastry chef, uh, but then she decided to do, yeah, pretty cool, decided to do stand-up comedy instead, uh, which I thought was interesting, but really, I mean, it's hard to be the best at stand-up, but it's real hard to beat Pillsbury, so she picked the easy route. I, uh, she switched from, from buns to puns, that's real smart of her, uh, but somehow she still manages to produce stuff that's half-baked. <laughs> crazy because that's also the name of her second sex tape. <laughs> Not the first. Not the first one. <laughs> uh, Taji, uh, I, I appreciate this is the second roast that I've done and I appreciate that you guys uh, are keeping me in my weight class physically. I, uh, <laughs> training for a bodybuilding competition. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, that's great. And one of my friends asked me, they were like, hey, well, are you nervous to roast a bodybuilder? And I was like, <laughs> okay, all right. No. <laughs> I think they're behind on construction, so I'm not worried about it. I think she's in the blueprint stage, but phase one will start real soon. I just, uh, that you did that because most people they try to be good looking uh, and then when that doesn't work out they try to be funny but you you did the other way around so that's really cool <laughs> Ellie does trapeze which is very cool very nice you know that's um, sorry let me start this over trapeze. Also, her ex and her dad both died because they could not stand being related to a clown. <laughs> Fuck you guys. That was funny. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. We are just two almost pretty ladies up here doing our fucking best, okay? I am trying. <laughs> because I've always wanted to be able to write enough puns that uh, Westport would book me to host, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, I only write jokes, so I just... <laughs> yeah. But Taji, no, her delivery is good. Her delivery, the way she delivers, is very deliberate. It's so deliberate that you almost 
almost can completely forget how fucking ripped she is. I mean, can you can we talk about the bodybuilding again? There's gotta be a better way to get a spray tan. I don't. I, this is the first time actually that a body uh, building competition has been sponsored by Children's Hospital, so that's pretty cool. I don't. It's actually I make fun of it, but it's inspirational. It's like you know how uh, Little Miss Sunshine is inspirational because she's tubby, but she dances anyway. You know, I, it's like that. But more annoying, so I can't. That's good. All right, your turn. Thank you. <laughs> Ellie dresses like an elementary school teacher that got fired for making the kids eat out of her hand. <laughs> it's like trail mix or something. stage a lot about um, her insecurity. She talk, one thing she talks about is that she's uh, always been skinny, you know, like she's yeah. got she's got a thigh gap and a small ass, which I can relate to, obviously, <laughs> but but Taji is actually doing things to change that. You know, she did the, the pastry chef stuff, the chef school, uh, she did the bodybuilding thing, and uh, she insists that people only call her on stage using just her first name, so she's well on her way to being a huge bitch. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Ellie dates another comedian, so the amount of bombs coming out that house is like the white Al Qaeda. <laughs> in your dreams, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, settle that. I'm ugly and no. All right. All right, guys, I'm so excited to see what the judges have to say about this. Zach Bukovic, who you got? All right, I want to start out by saying I have Taji winning this one, but uh, the only thing that fell flatter than some of those jokes are both of your asses from this angle. <laughs> and I liked it. Uh, I liked Zach, it. you stand up real quick. <laughs> She said that Ellie has man's taste in jeans when they're literally wearing the same jeans, just not tucked at the bottom. But Ellie's also wearing her boyfriend's boots. But I'm giving the, I'm giving the battle. I'm giving the battle to Taji, but you guys both did really good. All right. That's one vote for Taji. JP, what are you thinking? I ain't gonna lie. I had y'all tied for the most part. But Taji Nader, you pulled it out at the end. Hey, that shit was funny. I looked at this like the battle of Karen versus Karima. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it looked like Ellie tried to copy Taji's hair. We just said, fuck it. We'll just wake up. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. But listen, I ain't gonna lie. That last joke at the end was funny. I'm gonna say a joke that probably half of y'all won't get, but Taji will. This shit looks like the battle of friends versus living single. <laughs> Bobby J. Cox, what do you think? Um, well, first of all, I want to say I think either one of you could play The Little Mermaid. I honestly think that. <laughs> but, and I also, like, I do like that you walked up here and you're like, you ladies are willy not putty. I really like that. <laughs> if they were, they'd get booked yeah, more. Yeah. And I do like that JB said I stole his voice, but it's obvious that I did not. Uh, it's <laughs> still in there. Uh, but uh, I do have to go. I think she came out strong, too. I do, it was really tough, but I, I think uh, she wrote more jokes. I would say Ellie. I think Ellie got that round. Okay. All right, that's two to one for Taja right now, Aaron Porter. <laughs> that felt like I was watching a straight-A student argue with their substitute teacher. <laughs> like, winner gets to pick the movie we watch. And like, like, both of you guys just want to watch Flicka for the fifth time. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's your favorite sexual position? Reverse horse girl? All right. <laughs> Makes you look like a post-op Kenny G. <laughs> this, might be, this might be the only time somebody's wanted to touch someone's hair more than somebody's wanted to touch Taji's hair. <laughs> uh, Taji, I feel like you were really good at Model UN in school. I don't know if that tracks or not, but you kind of look like that. Uh, uh, you guys are both such nice people. I'm willing to give my vote to whoever will call the other one a cunt first. <laughs> being a bodybuilder when they started building your body at your nose first. Uh, <laughs> Taji, I know you don't drink, but you drink the blood of your enemies. You won. <laughs> Switch shirts with somebody for some reason. That was a request. I said, I'm a good sport, so I'm doing that. I know. You were a very fat lumberjack in that. Uh, yeah, I, looked, I feel terrible about it. Yeah. I'm glad right. you're videoing this. All right, dude, you were going up against Spencer Tegmeyer. Spencer, get up here, buddy. Over here. Uh, all right, Spencer, first time roast battling. How are you feeling about this? I'm fine. <laughs> You stoic bastard. <laughs> all right, uh, I like your flannel better, so you get to call it in the air, all right? All right, heads. <laughs> we got tails. Doug, you in or first or defer? You defer? All right. Let this bitch motherfucker go first. <laughs> I washed eight mile in preparation for this. Uh, all right, fuck you, dude. Do you say you're deferring? Yes. All right, Spencer, you're going first, everyone. We got five jokes. Everyone makes noise for these two. Let's roast. What can you say about Doug that hasn't already been said? His penis doesn't smell horrible. <laughs> Spencer has always kept his eye on the prize. He dropped out of college to pursue comedy, and then he dropped out of comedy to pursue high schoolers. <laughs> Doug's penis. <laughs> Doug's penis might be small. But what he lacks in size, he makes up for in just how bad it smells. <laughs> Spencer stopped doing comedy for a couple years when the Me Too movement hit because he was like, well, what's the point? When Doug lost his virginity, <laughs> his high school girlfriend had to ask if his penis was in yet because she could still smell it. Thing Spencer 
said to a functional relationship, it's his failed audition tape to Love on the Spectrum. <laughs> Many doctors have studied Doug's penis. <laughs> Many doctors have studied Doug's penis find out why exactly it smells so bad. But nobody should be able to figure it out before they kill themselves. Why did I have to put on this shirt, man? Please, keep, please switch without, please switch shirt. It's my last joke. Is about your shirt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Spencer Spencer moved here from Atlanta, Georgia. What happened? Did they run out of heroin? <laughs> When Doug was born, his parents considered cutting his penis off because of how bad it smelled. But they decided that was cruel to the garbage man. as often as he kills women. <laughs> Am I supposed to do another one? No, okay. Make some Man. noise for these two, everybody. That was so goddamn funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. Bobby, who do you have winning this battle? Tough call. jokes over how bad Doug's dick stinks. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. That was, I love that. I love so much that you wore that flannel for no reason. He goes, I'm being a good sport. <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 that was amazing. I, that was, I, I could watch that all night. If you could, I, I'll just watch that video all the time. That was amazing. I think that round for sure goes to Spencer. <laughs> We got one vote for Spencer. No way, everybody. <laughs> All right, Aaron Porter, who you got? I crossed out everything in my notebook. I had jokes. I had things I was going to say about how you're a rapist and he sold you the drugs. I don't give a fuck about any of that, dude. That, that was not fair. And... <laughs> Obviously, Ellie wrote all of your jokes, Doug. But <laughs> I'm glad she had some left over. Uh, <laughs> no, dude, Spencer, you fucking... I hate it when people change the format. I hate it when people do different shit. But you fucking kill me, dude. God, you're, a, you're like a Terminator possessed by a Confederate general. Just unstoppable. It's gotta be Spencer. <laughs> That's two votes for Spencer J.B. I ain't gonna lie, man, like, uh, with as many references as Spencer had to Doug's dick, <laughs> this is truly look like a grinder death match. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they both had fucking flannels on. It was like a lumber jack off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God. It was fucking Owen Winter.
was it, was it Owen Wilson versus John Cusack and shit? <laughs> Stop it, JB. They know you're black. <laughs> you don't have to mispronounce John Cusack's name. <laughs> hey, man, I'm doing that all the time. They fuck up black kids. <laughs> but nah, dog. I got to give it to you, Spencer, man. You awkward and a motherfucker. And you won, dog. You won. He got that. He got it all. All right. That's three votes for Spencer. Spencer is the winner of this roast battle, everyone. <laughs> but I want to hear what Zach Bogovich has to say first. Uh, I'm surprised uh, Spencer had... <laughs> I'm surprised Spencer can still smell Doug's dick after he snorted all that kratom and heroin. But uh, I thought it was funny that Doug traded out that shirt and was mad about it. Was there an air freshener for your dick in the other shirt? <laughs> but no, it, it goes to Spencer. It's a yeah. clean sweep. All right, that's four votes for Spencer. We got a clean sweep. One more time for these two. That was amazing. Keep it going for Julie Andrews one, everybody. Chicago roast battle on how yeah. you feeling about this? I'm feeling good. Ben's a dear friend. So Is he? I'm excited. I've never seen you two talk. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's his first time roast battling as well. Everyone make sure it's for Ben Johnson. Yeah. All right, Ben, your roast for Rebecca Jaffe. How are you feeling about this? Oh, fantastic. Can't you tell? Yes. Your, your posture's very hunchback right now. <laughs> Chicago, I'm gonna let you call it in the air, all right? Okay, uh, tails. It was heads, I dropped it, but it was heads. You wanna go, Ben, you wanna go first or defer? Defer. You wanna defer? All right, Rebecca's going first, everyone. We got five jokes back and forth. Rebecca versus Ben, let's roast. All right. Ben, you look like a child's first drawing of a person. <laughs> somebody might actually like it. <laughs> Rebecca suffered from vaginismus until she was 20. Vaginismus is a disease where your vagina closes shut against your will, which is what my vagina does whenever you play one of your ukulele joke songs. Fun fact about the vaginismus, I went through three months of physical therapy to open it up, and hearing Ben's voice makes me want to close it back up. not this violent. Uh, um, do I get to do I get to say another one? Or, yeah, go ahead. Um, Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, I, w I was looking up uh, celebrity lookalikes for Ben and nothing was coming up except for my dog. Here, you can see too. This is my dog. Um, the only difference is that unlike my dog, no one wants to pet Ben. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They're very, very different. Um, my dog shits in the backyard and uh, Ben only eats shit on stage. I suck. Uh, you look like the whitest person imaginable. You look like Panera grew a person in a lab. The, the side character from a Disney sitcom. <laughs> People are afraid that robots are taking over. I think they already got to Rebecca. <laughs> and she's stuck on an even Stevens patch. <laughs> the floor is yours. Thank you, Brock Turner. thing in the dumpster is your comedy career. Yeah, go ahead. You 
deserve it. Uh, Rebecca uses a, a ukulele on stage. It doesn't look like you're a comedian. It looks like you should be teaching kids about abstinence in a church basement. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> I think Rebecca got a lobotomy and somebody handed her a ukulele and a bunch of dildos and said strum one and put the other in your pussy and thank God she didn't mix the two up. <laughs> um, hi Ben. Um... <laughs> When Ben performs, he is the goat, by which I mean he sounds like a goat. Um, yeah, I mean, I was driving around a day and I thought I drove past Grant's farm, but it turns out it was just the sound of Ben having sex. <laughs> I do goat sex and I eat tin cans as well. Uh, guys, uh, Re Rebecca looks, Rebecca plays ukulele because she's trying to win her high school uh, talent show still. She looks like an AI program created a substitute art teacher. Well, unlike a teacher, Ben is not allowed near children. Um, yeah, but uh, what was I on? What was I on? Oh, yeah. You know how sometimes when you look at a car, you look at the front of a car and you're like, hey, that kind of looks like a face. Ben's face kind of looks like the front of a Subaru Outback. The only difference is that people actually want to ride a car. Whatever, uh, Rebecca told me that she survived Hurricane Katrina. And whenever I asked her about it, she said, well, my house wasn't damaged, but my uncle owns a jazz club in New Orleans. Uh, which is funny, because on the heels of this, guys, I survived the Holocaust. I was just born 50 years after it. But my uh, grandma owns a menorah. And a jazz club in Israel. All right. Sex with Ben is just like his jokes. No climax. This show without me for the first time ever. I think that's I think that's a round of applause in order. Leave, please. <laughs> we had so much fun without you. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I, I would like to get a formal introduction for uh, the uh, one of the veterans of the Roast Battle League in Austin and uh, performed uh, for Roast Battle League Austin. It's Tony Wells, guys. Make some noise for Tony Wells. Yeah, he's in town from Austin, Texas. You know, he's a great guy. All right, hell yeah, we're gonna turn this over to the judges' table and we're gonna decide, JB, who you got winning this. All right, uh, I never in my life imagined that I would be able to see it behind the scenes of To Catch a Predator, you know? <laughs> I wanted to save you all night, Rebecca. I know there's a white van waiting for me being sitting outside. <laughs> no, but I can't lie, Ben, uh, you suck this one, dog. Like, Rebecca, she got it done. Thank you. One vote for Rebecca, Zach Butchevich. Uh, I just want to say, first off, you guys look like you argue about what the coolest part of a train is. <laughs> I do, I love trains. But, yeah, of course you do. I can tell by your overalls. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway in this battle, Ben, I'm sorry to say, you were the caboose because your shit was ass. So, uh, Buck and Becca, Becca got your ass, dog. Give it to Becca. All right. Ronaldo Mercado. Uh, who did you say he looked like? What was it? Bro Brock Turner? I didn't know who Brock Turner was. And then and then JB Googled Brock Turner. You look just like a rapist, dude. It is crazy. <laughs> I've, I've never seen rapist versus victim on stage before. I, that's fucking... And here's, and here's, why, that. here's why I think... Here's why I think that Ben uh, uh, didn't... Uh, isn't isn't winning with the judges is because you weren't mean enough and it's because he doesn't he still wants to wear her skin you know what I mean he doesn't want to be 
He doesn't want to be too mean. But no, it was really fun to watch ukulele versus jukulele. And, uh, no, this really was. This was a battle of the opposite ends of the autism spectrum. You know what I mean? Uh, I think, uh, you know, you are dressed like a custodian, so we're going clean sweep. I give it to Rebecca. Votes for Rebecca. Tony Wellens, what you got? St. Louis, baby. Uh, ben, what's my, my soldier guy? This is a fun battle. Uh, I like Ben. He's definitely an autistic warrior for sure. Uh, you kind of give me the vibes like you're selling the vaccine after the show, that's for sure. Uh, this, set, this, this whole battle was brought to you by the Pfizer, without a doubt. Uh, they had their talents on this whole set. Um, it uh, it kind of gave me the vibe as like this. It was the battle of the school shooter and the girl that never fucked him. And, uh, <laughs> but Rebecca, I don't know. If you're here, who's, who's running the Chick-fil-A drive-thru? We don't know. Uh, but, uh, But you both are cute, autistic, little, little whatever the fuck you are. Um, but Rebecca, Rebecca was definitely had better jokes. But uh, I don't know. I, don't, I feel bad. I, don't, I just got here. You both, you both are amazing. Fuck me. I'm a loser. What do I know? I, I just come and talk uh, with black voice on stage. So uh, you guys are both better than me. So, uh, but Re Rebecca tonight for sure. All right, guys. We, that's four votes for Rebecca. She's the winner. I want to hear a couple more judges though. Aaron Porter. Yeah, I mean, I know we've hit the autism thing like crazy. <laughs> but you guys do look like you both play Roblox for different reasons. <laughs> it's like Rebecca just wants to make friends and Ben just wants to know when your parents aren't going to be home. <laughs> ben, I love you. I'm glad you could be here. I'm glad you could take time away from your day job as being the monkey from Tang commercials. <laughs> hair would be on your knuckles if you weren't dragging them on the floor all the time. That's... <laughs> I, Rebecca, I've never seen you this mean before. You might have a tiny pussy, but you're a huge cunt. <laughs> you, are. you won. It's not tiny, it's close. Battle! Oh my god. You guys did great. Uh, guys, keep it going for your default fucking Wii characters. Keep it going for them. <laughs> surgeon, the uncanny valley. You guys look so weird. Uh, no, I think they did a great job. Um, I'm sorry that Ronaldo roasted you so hard. We really got to build that wall, but uh, he almost didn't make it here. Uh, but yeah, that round, uh, I'm going to give it to Rebecca. for Nicholas Kuvar. He's tripping, the blind man's tripping. Okay, we're good. <laughs> right here, right here. There we go. Hi. He's blind, everybody. <laughs> I didn't know you were fucking he's behind me, bro. He's he wants the sympathy book, everyone. All right, Kuvi, you're roasting Eric Russell. How are you feeling about this? I know you guys are good friends. I'm honestly, I'm a little nervous because he said that his kids watch the YouTube videos. So, like, I kind of want to pull punches, which is something Eric never does for his wife. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Eric's bowl and make him look like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's bring him up. Here's one and oh in roast battle as well. Make sure it's for Eric Rossler. <laughs> uh, All right, Eric, you're roasting Kuvi. How are you feeling about this? <laughs> I'm pretty confident. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I just have to do half as good as his barber does. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, Kuvi, you are handicapped. I'll let you call it in the air, alright? You won't see it in the air. Let me know when it's up there. Make him flip. Going. Tails. <laughs> I didn't flip it yet. <laughs> Just wait. It was Tails. It was Tails. Kuvi, you want to go first or defer? No, I'll just go ahead and go first. Alright, Kuvi's going first. Kuvi versus Eric Rustler. Five jokes, main event. Make some fucking noise. Let's roast. So, this might be a little bit weird coming from a blind guy, but doesn't Eric look like he owns a plantation in the metaverse? <laughs> Dude, Eric Rustler loves white supremacy. He loves it, okay? Partially because he's racist, clearly, but mostly because Eric thinks white supremacy comes with sour cream. <laughs> make a looks like joke. Uh, you look like Shrek type 2. I'll go all day, motherfucker. It's ironic that he brought up race because he likes to joke that he can't see skin color, but he definitely has opinions about how they smell. <laughs> Nicest looking races you've ever seen. He's like a stock boy for slave traders Joes. <laughs> I mean, JB all, does always smell like weed, let's be honest. Yeah. You know it's true, buddy. Uh, all right, guys. Eric Rustler is a fatty, fatty tugboat bitch. Uh, he, he used to be in a branch of the Navy, okay? And then he spent a little bit too much time at Long John Silver's. Now his bra size is Captain Double D's. <laughs> you Helen Keller wannabe. <laughs> it's odd you bring up health. How does it feel to be 30% as disabled and 0% as successful as her? <laughs> the good news is Nick still lives in Illinois, so late-term abortion isn't off the table yet. <laughs> I don't know if we should talk about health, dude. I'm the blind one, yet I managed to watch my weight. Okay. <laughs> Chef Proud Boy RD. This is really fun. Dude, uh, since Eric got out of the military, he can only get an erection from violence. So he came back from the war with PTSED. All right? Dude, every time Eric has sex, it's like police cam footage. Because he's just yelling, Stop resisting! Stop resisting! That's why he has a bumper sticker that says, uh, uh, back the blue chew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nick's girlfriend is vegan, so to make her happy, he decided to go completely meatless. <laughs> and just put his dick and balls in her purse. <laughs> Nick also claims to be a Wiccan, even though he has the same haircut as every televangelist you've ever seen. <laughs> and you're built like a sloppy Joe. <laughs> All right, two words, Blob's Burgers. <laughs> Double wide. That explains Eric's housing situation and those pants. <laughs> Where'd you get them pants, Eric? At Plato's Garage? 
lame giant Abercrombie and Fick? <laughs> what? separate directions, kind of like an iguana, which I find convenient because every time I see him, I want to throw up. <laughs> Last go. Uh, man, guys, uh, I want you all to focus. I do have beautiful blue eyes. It's just one blue that way, one blue that way. Okay. <laughs> What's my last joke? Okay, uh, guys, one more time, give it up for American History XXL over here. <laughs> Eric, Eric Rustler nicknamed his wife's vagina the N-word. <laughs> because that's the only way this racist piece of shit can motivate himself to give that pussy a beating. <laughs> That's fucked up on him. Uh, he also has a huge gap in his teeth. Like when his eyeballs got divorced, his front teeth picked which eyeball they'd rather live with. <laughs> Every time I watch him laugh, I get scared his mouth's gonna open up like the predator. <laughs> yeah, my mom couldn't afford braces, your mom couldn't afford an abortion. <laughs> Bobby J. Cox 
what are you thinking on this? Holy shit, that was good. Kubi, you didn't see that coming. And I, and then I, I, mean, I mean Eric's weight. Uh, I'm not gonna, no, I don't want to be mean to Eric, but everyone, take off your hats, because it looks like we have the aerial view of uh, the Sabbath Center right now. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think that round has to, is, has to go to Kubi, for sure, absolutely. How are you feeling on this? Uh, I just, uh, I'm gonna give it to Nick, but uh, I need to say, Eric, you need to go on a diet because even Nick can see that you're fat as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you drink the water out of the Stanley Cup in that jersey. Uh, also, uh, I kind of thought this battle was unfair because Nick Kubar's eyes don't work, but neither does Eric's thyroid, so this was. Uh, <laughs> song should be that. You're incredible. You're great. Um, both of you guys are battling hard. Nick, uh, I think if you if you say uh, vape juice three times, Nick will appear. Uh, <laughs> facing the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. 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 You look like you took a lot of uh, uh, Mountain Dew as a kid to punch, as a steroid to punch holes in drywall, for sure. Without a doubt. A lot of trauma in your life. I can feel it on you. Um, but you, you packed a lot into a, a little, a lot like the kids you molest. And uh, uh, you just, you really just were fucking, you were just swinging, dude. And uh, so, I mean, it was a great battle. But I, yeah, you, I, I fuck with, I kind of have a style like you where I like to jam pack a lot. So I, I like that a lot. So I'll give it to you. All right. Five votes for Nicholas Kumar. JB, bring us home. I ain't gonna front, man. Um, Nick, you ain't blind. You lying motherfucker. <laughs> now, you are Stevie Wonder or something. And he tried to play it off. He said everything he had on. Then he gonna look at the window outside and shit. <laughs> that was a good joke, wasn't it? <laughs> you can't fucking fool me. I can't lie. Eric looked like he about to arrest you for driving blind, you know? <laughs> but nah, Kuvi, Kuvi clean sweep, dog. That shit was fire. That was good shit. Yeah. Best man of the night. Johns. Is that, is that good? All right. You could have held it in, but that's Moment all right. Pass. <laughs> so, all right, guys, that is our battles for the night. You guys have a good time tonight, everybody. Yeah. One more time for all the comedians and the judges, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, we really appreciate you coming out. We do shows here every month. We will be announcing our next date on our Instagram page very soon. So go ahead and follow us on that it is Gateway City Roast League. All of these videos, we're going to post them in full live to our YouTube. You can watch the old ones. You can relive this night tonight. All right? Is that good with everyone? Please follow us. Gateway City Roast League. Best in the motherfucking world. <laughs> Alright, everyone, thank you so much for coming out. One more round of applause, everybody! Alright, I've been your referee, Andrew Gaffigan. Get home safe, guys.